A scam artist. That's what a judge called business owner Thomas Wayne Riley, who appeared in bond court today after a live five investigation. That investigation centered on a low country pool installer who customers say continued to accept deposits for pools, but never even began working on them. Our Emily Johnson was inside of Calhoun County Court earlier today when Riley's bond was set at $80,000 and shares how those in attendance reacted. Um, this is a lot of money for a lot of families and caused other problems in their homes that go above and beyond the enjoyment of a new pool. Low Country fiberglass pool owner Thomas Wayne Riley self surrendered to the seven counts of breach of trust with fraudulent intent greater than $10,000. A new piece of information was presented by Calhoun County Sergeant Larry Vanacek, who revealed that Riley had deposited the pool's customers' checks into his business account, but used the funds to pay for his children's tuition, concert tickets, and fishing trips to Alabama and Louisiana. I agree with one of the people who said this morning that Mr. Riley in my humble view and evidence is a scam artist. The investigator added that the charges against Riley span across Charleston, North Charleston, and Orangeburg counties with fraud totals around $300,000. Around a dozen victims that never received the pools they paid for were in person or on the phone during today's bond hearing, including Mary Jo Hartley, who created a Facebook page after losing $11,000 to Riley, bringing forward more victims. I was shocked. I knew I knew the, the breadth of it was larger than most people thought because we're all individual victims. And um, but coming to the hearing today, to the bond hearing and knowing the grand scheme of what was going on. It's very satisfying to know that Calhoun County was able to uh, pull that all together today. Judge Bloom also requested that the solicitor's office take a closer look into the case due to the fact that it spans over multiple counties. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg, um, including other crimes not limited to, but including tax evasion. In Calhoun County, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News.